This is Sony's latest full-frame vlogging camera called the ZV E1. Is it really that good? Let's take it out for a vlog test. So before we start, I just want to say a big thank you to Cathay Photo for loaning me this camera. It is one out of two sets here in Singapore and they very kindly uh, allow me to bring it home and then, you know, just fully test it out and try its capabilities and share it with you. So thank you Cathay Photo. Second thing is I will not be doing any color correction so to fully see whether it's capable of doing everything on its own. All right? And now let's get on with my day. Let's go! breakfast oh so good <laughs> <laughs> so as a vlogger one of the features that you want to have is to have good stabilization on the camera currently I'm not using any stabilization and now I'm going to show you the four different types of standard uh, active and dynamic <music> So which one do you prefer with the wide enough lens like the Sigma 1628 that I'm using currently? You can get better stabilization while you are doing all these talking, running and gunning vlogs. Yeah. Another thing that is very important is of course autofocus and uh, on this camera it has very very good the latest technology of um, eye autofocus or human tracking yeah it can actually track more than humans you can track humans birds animals uh trains, planes and cars, I think, yeah, something along those lines, which is great. Another good thing is that it also has AI learning, which means that now, as you can see, it is focused on my eye, but if I turn back and come back again, it will still detect you, so that's really, really good. Another interesting function is the AI framing. Now, as you can see, currently I'm talking to the camera, and then if I move back, and if I move around, you can actually see that the uh, camera is not moving but it still frames me in the center of the frame which is quite interesting how does that work so another function is the product showcase now obviously it's focused on me right now and if I to hold a product up like this it doesn't get into focus you see it's still blur right because it's focused on me now if I switch it up you'll see the difference so with the product showcase function turned on now anything that I bring in front of the lens gets focused right So when you're vlogging, it's great for you know showcasing the new product that you bought or the food that you're eating and all that kind of thing instead of just focusing on your eye. Then you can showcase other things as well. Speaking of which, this is the battery that they're gonna use. Um, this is the NPFZ100. Okay, uh, it is a great battery. You know, um, I use it on my A7S3, and uh, for now on this uh, ZVE1. It has lasted me the whole day. I haven't had to change batteries yet, so pretty good. So another one of the functions perfect for beginners is the background defocus. As you can see, currently my background is blur, correct? Now if I click a button, it actually turns it to be clear. See, you can see everything very clearly behind. One more time, blur. So now you can see everything is quite blur behind and clear. Yeah, so it gives you that very nice, beautiful bouquet. Also, I'm currently using the onboard microphone. We are here in Orchard Road and um, it's very noisy on the roads. As you can see, there are many cars and all that kind of thing. So let me know how it sounds like, right? Do you, do you think the onboard microphone is good enough? It has like all that auto detection and all that kind of stuff. Or do we require a shotgun microphone? Hmm? Now, I might have forgot to mention this, but this camera also takes amazing photos, okay? As much as it doesn't have an electronic viewfinder, it still takes amazing photos. Yeah, I saw examples. So the photos that you just saw were taken right behind me and the shop is not even open so there's no lights whatsoever and it's 
see? So I think it takes amazing photos. <laughs> So I'm currently shooting on the intelligent auto function. Now I'm lit from the front, which means that you will give me like the best optimal settings. And now, if I'm back lit like this, just give it some time and then it will detect like what's best for you. And uh, you will try and you know focus on my face as you can see slowly and then wash out the, the, the background. So now I'm focused, right? I didn't touch anything. Everything was done internally by the camera. And then now if I were to walk indoors, it will you will see it change again. Okay, uh, so yeah, awkwardly looking at the camera, looking if anybody is looking at me. <laughs> now that I'm indoors, you will start to see it slowly change as well. So if I face the light, there you go. So there's no worrying about like, you know, having to change the settings wherever you go and all that kind of thing. And now you will detect the scenery and give you the perfect settings. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Look, it knows that I'm uh, backlit right now. So if I stand here for a moment, you will try and detect the best settings, focus on my face and wash out the back. So the subject, me, is always in focus. show you the very first trick that I learned. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a little self-working card trick. Uh -huh. okay, I'll explain as I go along. So any card that you like, you can have. Take one. Doesn't matter. Look at it. Remember the card. Don't forget it. Show it to the camera. <laughs> okay, put, mm -hmm. put the card back here. Good. Now when you see the card again, you recognize it, yes? Yes. It's very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Now, um, I'm not going to try and find a card or anything like that. The deck here is going to tell me exactly mm. where is your card and uh, how it looks like and all that kind of thing. Okay. Okay. So again, very strange kind of uh, card trick, right. right? So the first card here will tell me how near your card is to the deck. Okay. If the value is big, uh -huh. your card is near. Mm -hmm. If the value is small, your card is still far away. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's take a look. Ace. That means it tells me that it's pretty near. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, maybe within the within this half or something like that. All right. The next card tells me the suit of your card: mm -hmm. clubs, hearts, spades, or diamonds. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it says here spades. Okay. Now before I carry on, your card is a spade. Yes. Yes. Good. Next card tells me how many more cards I have to deal before your card appears. Uh -huh. Okay. So it says three. Uh -huh. Okay. So here we go. Um, we're going to deal down three cards, that's one, two, and three. For the very first time, tell me what card you selected, which spade? Joker. Joker? Yeah, it that's was a Joker with a black card. Ja I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is just past <laughs> You see, sometimes, <laughs> magicians make mistakes. Okay. Right? Yeah, but not today. See? Ah, look at that. These... But I'll just now there was another one, right? The one, two, three, four aces. No way! <laughs> that was other cards, right? How did you do that? Check, 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 check. <laughs> how, did, how did you do that? Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your watch. Take care. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Hi, sorry for the interruption. As I was editing this video, I realized that I didn't mention one important thing. There is a unique feature um, known as Cinema Vlog, I think that's what it's called. And uh, what it does is that it gives you different looks that you can choose from and all that kind of thing depending on how you want the feel to be, okay? There is like fresh, chic, ocean, forest and all sorts of stuff which you will see right here. You know, it gives you that cinematic feel. But once you choose it, there will be black bars on the top and bottom and then at the same time you cannot change the color anymore it is just burned into the footage okay just so you know all right back to the video so
So, after using it for a day, um, my conclusions are this. Who is this camera for? Well, if you are a beginner content creator, I think you can have this camera to future-proof yourself. Um, yes, it's quite an investment, um, but I think it's very worth it. Like, if you want to take your content to, the, to another level, I say why you future-proof yourself is because it has every function that you need and more even for live streams, it's just a plug and play kind of thing and um, the functions, the AI functions are really really good reliability is very important, you can just you know um, turn it on, shoot and then forget about it and then when you go back you will guarantee that you know your footages will turn out pretty good right? how about pro users? Um, for pro users there are a lot of functions that you know are way better than the current camera that I have <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the a Sony A7S III and um, you know this one has the uh, you can you can preload your LUTs so that you can preview your footage and all that kind of thing uh, good dynamic range you know all that kind of good stuff and all the AI functions and all that which makes it really easy and uh, will I buy this well a hundred percent for many many reasons first and foremost um, it's very small less than 500 grams it's very lightweight uh, it takes great pictures right and uh, at the same time you know I just need to kind of get used to having a camera without a uh, EVF because I'm <laughs> as I was using this camera I was trying to take photos I keep putting it to my eye right because then I realized ah shit <laughs> so yeah um, I mean if you if you take photos with your with your phone camera you are already doing this you're already just looking at a screen right so it takes a little bit of getting used to but it's fine you know uh, I can get used to that so having it for one day is really not enough for me to test out all the functions and tell you all the good stuff about it but if you have used any like a uh, Sony ZV line uh, cameras it has all the functions like the tele light the red little square that tells you that you are recording all that kind of thing so yeah one thing I really like about this camera is its reliability both for beginner and pro users you know it's very lightweight it's perfect for travel I'm so sad right now because uh, I have to go return this camera to Cathay yeah. <laughs> I wonder when will they like uh, actually have stock and uh, you know I, pre orders are not even out yet so I'm not sure like when will I actually have my hands on it but I can't wait uh, this is pretty cool you know sorry I've been mumbling enough of me um, let me know if you have any questions about this camera I'll try my best to answer them I might not have all the answers but you know I only have like one day with it so yeah thank you so much for watching you guys take care stay safe and I'll see you on the next one